about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. First, if you have the prayer requests and the ushers, if you've collated them, please can we have them in front very quickly. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, 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 break every chain. Hallelujah. Now, a very quick announcement. Our father has announced that some of the pastors may need to rush and go and join them. Please, you are a pastor here. Um, if, if the pastors within the house are exhausted, some of the sons of the prophet can also join to make this quick, please, so that we have a few people attend to them very quickly and they come because we're about to pray. Someone's life is about to change right now. In the name of Jesus. Now, I have about five minutes or so, but within this time, your life is about to change. And I want you to believe it from the depth of your heart. Are we together now? Yes. I hear the chains falling. Hey, I hear the chains falling. Now, please stand, everybody. Please stand. Please stand. Please stand. Please stand. Shali kaparato satiaba. Embrakato zazige le paratos kati branda galasu siata. Ragadaba kato shala brande ge parasu sekek. Shabre de ge debele kato shabranda gato siata. From the rising of the sun. To the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Adonai, from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Hallelujah. Now, please lift your hands. Here's what I want you to do. It, it will be a very fast one. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus, my God. Please hear me. Whether you are an usher or not, I want you to help those who are under the anointing. At that one shout, the Bible says now Jericho was shot. Nothing could go in and nothing could come out. But at that shout, the Bible says the wall collapsed. The shout is not a ritual. It said the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. As you shout that name, the power of God will come on some of you. Please, I want you to help them. If you can bring them out very quickly. Are you ready now? Father, everything 
that is not of God that has tied down the life and the death of any man any woman any pastor any businessman the Bible says wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above all names that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of things in heaven the earth and under the earth and that every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father therefore I declare at this shout of the name of Jesus let fire fall from heaven are you ready now at the count of three please bring those under the anointing now one two three shout Jesus I decree and declare chains be broken yokes be a patosh ketebe lakata help them please help them bring them out new season fresh fire Please bring them out very quickly. Hallelujah. Now hear me please. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing people whose hands are tied with chains. Your hand is a symbol of productivity. I want to pray for you. The fire of God will come upon you. Please bring them out. Right now, Father, I declare in the name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice whose productivity has been tied down at the count of three let that fire fall upon you now one two three take that grace help them please i break that chain now i break i break that chain now help those Please help them at the back there. Bring them out. Hallelujah. There are people who the doors of your destiny would have been open, but by witchcraft and manipulation, it had been closed. Ah, in this place we have the key of David by grace. He said, I, I hold the key of David and I can open a door that no man can shut. I'm about to pray. Please, you will see people who begin to run now. Hold them so they don't injure themselves. Father, every destiny, help them, that has been tied by witchcraft. Right now, at the count of three, be released. One. Two, three, shout Jesus. Be released. Be released now. Be released now. Help that man. Help that man. Be released now. Bring them out. Bring them out. hallelujah now hear me please if you are in business raise your hand something is about to rest on you if you are in business lift your hands malida hashala so zebra has kadina kaparuziata shalanda skadina apras kebila katoziata listen believe me when i tell you unbelievers know this that it takes more than just selling products to rise there is a spiritual dimension to wealth in spite of the value that you provide and serve in the marketplace the king of tyre is still there tying down the destinies of men say unto god how terrible are thou in your ways it says it is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves to you 
I want to pray. There is an anointing that is coming on you. For many of you, I, I do not kid you. In one month, after this conference, what God will do in your life and your business, it will be as if you held a charm. In the name of Jesus. Get ready now. Something is coming upon you. Father, everywhere across this auditorium, there are men and women who must rise by the commanded blessing. Therefore, I decree and declare, Shabakata Bakata. At the count of three, are you ready now? One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace. Help them. Go and excel. Command authority and dominion in the marketplace. Command authority and dominion. Help that lady in the marketplace. Hallelujah. Let me stand upon the grace of our Father and agree with every servant of the gospel, every man and woman of God. It's time for every reproach in ministry to go. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Not because things changed by default. He got to a point in his life where he was tired. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on a man of God now. I just saw it in my vision. I don't know if you can bring that person. I'm trying to walk with time. I just saw fire. There's, there's somebody, you are a man of God. You are a ministry. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on you now. Right now. It's going to be a new season for you. I'm seeing two women here. I don't know if you are in an intercessory ministry or God is calling you into it, but there is a prophetic grace. I just saw the eye of an eagle. I don't know where these women are. Take that grace now. Women will rise from worry that will hold on to the horns of the altar. You will lead nations in prayer, strategic prayer that will bring revival upon your territory. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are into prophetic worship. The anointing of the Spirit is coming upon you right now. Prophetic worship is a, is a, is a, is a marvelous grace. Doors will start opening up for you even in your land to serve the body of Christ with that grace given to you. Whether it's the choir, I don't know where, okay, the worship team, anyone, in the name of Jesus, there's one of you, fire is coming on you now. Please help them. Help that gentleman so they don't injure themselves. I release that grace. I release that grace. I release that grace. In the name of Jesus. New sounds. You will hear them in your dreams. New sounds. You will hear them as you worship. In the name of Jesus. New sounds of the Spirit. Help that lady please. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. Now hear me. Daddy, can, can we open? Can we fall? Okay. Now hear me. Anyone here under the influence of the spirit of delay? How do you know delays at work in your life? When the only thing growing is your age. If the only thing growing in your life is your age and nothing else is growing you are under a strong influence of the spirit of delay i want to release you now the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran people will begin to run now help them father let the mantle for speed right now come upon people and end seasons of delay at the count of three shout jesus one two Three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. My God.
Hallelujah. Now hear me please. Hear me. This is the most accurate representation of your requests. Even if we prophesy, we see in part. And we can only say according to the parts that we see. But you wrote this yourself. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says to be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, it says, let your request be made known unto God. I want you to stretch your hands upon this sacred altar as a point of contact. You don't have to kneel, but I will bow my knee. If you are yet to submit your prayer request, please ushers do that quickly. Hear me. The God that answers by fire is about to descend upon this request. And for some of you, you will receive answers instantly. Go ahead and begin to pray. That these Egyptians I see today, I will see them no more. Word of life, are you praying? someone is praying my life is changing oh god testimonies of your power help him help that gentleman In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is your house. Your home. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house. Your home. We welcome you today. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. Now, I'm about to pray over this. Here's what I'm going to do. Listen carefully, please. I'm going to pray over this request. And I will double up. I promise praying for the sick, but we do not have the time. So while I'm praying for this, I will just speak over the sick. Now, when I do that, I, I, I'm sorry I did not tell him. But to wrap up my session here, I am going to plead with our father. He is going to come as not only the father over this assembly but by reason of age and grace and his work with god i know that for many of you you have been hearing him speak but tonight is different he's coming as touching the office he is going to be making a very straight as from the bowels of his spirit listen that you believe that which has come from his mouth as from God, you will marvel and wonder at what God will do in your life. But as for this request, Genesis 21, 
from verse 1. This is what will happen over this request. Genesis 21, verse 1. Please very quickly help us, media. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Help that woman under the anointing. My God, I'm seeing fire falling. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bow my knees upon this altar and I decree and declare by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic for everyone who has cried, step into your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Hear me. Every blessing comes from God, but it comes through men to men. Therefore, the Bible says the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Not God, the king. I decree and declare everybody who must send for you in this season to bring you out of any dungeon, I decree and declare we compel them to send for you now. Hallelujah. And David said, Is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And he called on Ziba, who had 15 sons thereabout, and sent him to Lodeba. And they met a crippled man who could not help himself, called Mephibosheth. And he called Mephibosheth and said, You will dine with me at my table. For the rest of your life. I decree and declare. Where are your destiny helpers? I stand upon this altar. Over the city of Wari. From the north. To the south. The east and the west. Every helper of your destiny. I declare they must show up now. They must show up now. They must show up now. Help that woman, please. He said, and I will restore the years. Now listen carefully. Listen. Listen. He said, have you heard of this proverb that in one day a nation is born? He says, but as soon as Zion travails, for some of you, by the normal course of God's timing, you should not be here. Something had kept you down. So even if that, in, that, that, that impedance is taken away, you, you will just experience progress, not restoration. Restoration is being picked on the wings of God and to be placed where you would have been if those constraints were not there. There is a difference between restoration and progress. I declare, anyone here who has been tied down by witchcraft or tied down by any satanic mechanism, in the name of Jesus, by prophecy, I take 10 years and put it in one year for you. 10 years in your one year. One year in your one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and there was war in heaven. That it, there was a mystery in heaven. A woman was pregnant, about to give birth to a man child. And there was a dragon that came and stood in front of her to eat up her future. But then it says that a strange wind carried her to a safe place to give birth. There are many of you, you are, you are like, you are being pregnant, carrying dreams and visions. But just for you to give birth, there are evil beasts waiting to eat your vision. I decree and declare, as the stars fought for Deborah, may the elements of nature begin to fight for you. 
May the earth fight for you. The wind fight for you. The sun fight for you. Hallelujah. Please listen to me. One of the graces that any genuine member, son and daughter of word of life should enjoy cheaply is the grace for longevity. Because this is the grace that is, is evidently in the life of your father. Others can come and beg for it, but for you it's an inheritance by grace God gave you. But whether you know it or not, is a different thing. Therefore, I stand upon the grace of our Father and I pray, anyone here that the spirit of death is eyeing you, to see that you will not end this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, O oh, death, where is your sting? And O oh, grave, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, fulfill your days in full. Fulfill your days in full. Yes. Hallelujah. Anyone called barren here, I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, according to the time of life, in the name of Jesus, like the prophet spoke to Hannah, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, return with your miracle. And I pray for anyone who is sick in body here, whether it is blindness, lameness, cancer, any kind of terminal disease, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, be healed now. Be healed now. I want to pray one personal prayer for you. I don't claim to know everything. There are many things I do not know. But believe me, I know what it means to be helped by God. There is a grace for favor. Please hear me. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. I want to speak over someone. The kind of favor that ends emptiness in your life. I stand upon this sacred altar. Receive it now. That every man that has been unable to take care of his family, like the Bible mandates, may favor rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. Finally, before I invite our father, let me prophesy Psalm 112, particularly to the men and the families here. Psalm 112 says, Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. He said, His seed shall be mighty upon earth. He says, The generation of the upright shall be blessed, that wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Therefore, word of life, I stand by the privilege of God's grace upon the grace of our Father and I declare to every man, every mother, every child, every pastor, every businessman, in the name of Jesus, be blessed. Be blessed. In your going out, be blessed. Your coming in, be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want you in one minute, open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit as we receive our father to speak this prophetic blessing. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend 
to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.